I am Julie Marin. I am a postdoctoral researcher at the KU Leuven a Research Group of Urbanism and Architecture. I think it was uh, maybe in 2014 uh, when this term was really popping up with the uh, Jabber in uh, Iabeer in uh, Rotterdam. Um, but then, of course, the, the, what falls under the umbrella of urban metabolism I had been dealing with before, but I think it was from there on that really this label of urban metabolism, um, yeah. I think we, we, we've talked about it already a lot. Eh? Uh, there, there's, it's difficult to really define eh, what is urban metabolism because um, every discipline uh, uses it in different ways. Or, or um, uh, I think in this one text, uh, um, this Castan Broto, she says, or he says, um, that, it, that it, all the disciplines who use it use it to push the boundaries of their own discipline. Mm. Um, so maybe uh, to, to think of then how, how I use it in urban uh, landscape design would be not really to push the boundaries of that own discipline, but to employ urban landscape design to, to find bridges between different disciplines and integrate that in urban landscape design. So that would be, I think, uh, how I use it. So, so to facilitate uh, transdisciplinary dialogues through forward-looking urban landscape design. There's of course also the, the 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 industrial ecology approach, which is quite clear in in how uh, quantitative modeling um, to to optimize urban metabolisms. Um, well, I guess it depends on uh, on the, the researchers and the fields that uh, you're talking to. Huh? Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. Well, urban metabolism in itself, maybe not so much, uh, but sometimes uh, I think in, 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 in practice, etc., uh, circular economy is more interchangeably used uh, for, for anything that has to do with making the urban metabolism circular. Um, yeah, difficult to answer. Yes, the Antwerp. metabolism studies in, uh, yeah. in Antwerp, etc. Yes, so in that sense, uh, definitely, yeah. Yes, I do feel that yeah. any uh, assignment now, uh, any tender uh, asking for design research or, or um, um, yeah, design uh, explorations um, is incorporating notions of urban metabolism. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I would say the terminology used is more circularity or circular economy. I do have the feeling that most of us from the network are involved also in uh, practical work, work. So being uh, advisors in um, certain projects that are commissioned by um, municipalities or um, other governmental agencies. So in that sense, I think um, this, this, this um, exchange is quite uh, productive in terms of that it aims to transfer what we discuss uh, internally uh, two concrete projects, um, yeah. I do think that the learning by doing uh, approach is, uh, is, is key here because it's such, a, as we said before, a wicked problem to deal with. So this iterative work between testing it in cases, um, bringing disciplines together, um, and at the same time reflecting on it more in an academic way. Um, I, I do have the feeling that it uh, moves forward. Uh, one thing that I, that I, I think uh, maybe is, is missing to re even accelerate that more is that um, after the Designing with Flows uh, workshop, which was very well documented and put online, etc., um, and it, the, the, all the other work that was initiated uh, by OVAM in terms of design research has not really found a way like uh, to be broadcasted and um, widely dispersed and, and um, maybe that would even support more um, the, the distribution and the advancement of 
what it what we are doing. <laughs> I think there's a box where it could perfectly fit in. If you look at circular flounders, they have these different tracks. Mm -hmm. Circular economy that is more uh, focusing on innovation within business, etc. But then you also have the track of the circular city. And um, there, um, there's uh, quite some interesting things uh, around um, um, for, uh, Reburg, in which um, certain um, infrastructures, circular infrastructures, biogas installation, etc. are our, our um, research around that is broadcasted, but I do feel that everything that happened in the Designing with Flows workshops, workshop and um, the research on metabolism in Antwerp, in Brussels, etc., could go into that track, not as, um, let's say, a final solution, but as a, a, an exercise where a lot of thought was put in, a lot of data was gathered, um, and uh, uh, to, to advance this question of what is a circular city. You did already a great uh, effort with the building out the network and creating the, the group uh, communication, etc. So I, I, I see that really as a first step in what eventually would be ideal if you would also have a physical space where you can um, meet each other, work on your own or find collaborations, have uh, exchanges over coffee that maybe lead to projects. Um, yeah, that would, would be, I think... Uh, interesting with uh, the group that you've assembled um, as a first step uh, as a chair. So what I feel is I'm speaking as a, from the urban design perspective and what's happening in terms of design research around metabolism and circular economy, which is really a lot. Eh? You see a lot of calls uh, for, for uh, design research uh, around circular economy. Many um, policy plans now with the new legislation as well, where cities really want to um, get this circular economy landing in their cities and, and develop their cities around that concept, also connected to spatial development. Um, but what I do feel is that there's so many studies, so many uh, things happening uh, that we don't take enough time to really sit back and reflect on the trajectories that we have accomplished. Mm -hmm. Um, and there, I think there's a lot of lessons to draw, a lot of uh, um, yeah, things we can already learn and, and transfer to next, uh, next um, sessions. Um, but, but I do feel that, that the, the, the momentum is more, okay, a new study, a new study, a new study, and that there is, that studying the results of the studies is a study in itself that could be very, very valuable to uh, to really uh, learn from it as a as a collective learning trajectory, mm -hmm. like reflecting on since uh, maybe the the designing with flows workshops, um, all the studies that have been done, it's often the same people that have been involved. So to really structure uh, a learning process around that. Well, that's part of this learning, this, this yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, an important question because every study has a, a big report in the end, um, which is probably um, most, which has a lot of complexities embedded. And, and, and I'm not sure if all these complexities come across for people who weren't involved in the actual trajectory because there's so much learned across this trajectory. Uh, so I think it's also a challenge for us to uh, start thinking about then how to then uh, have uh, develop like a communication strategy or, or is it as you say like a page flow or a, uh, a forum or um, something very open yeah, that that is not saying this is how circular Antwerp should be but this is how the question was approached that is what we got out of it those are the takeaways this is what went uh, maybe not ideal um, and then um, move from there both in terms of the roles of the designers, but also of the many, many people sitting around the table um, wearing different hats, having different expectations.